what your favorite anime slash J-pop artist says about you. Lisa, you only listen to one J-pop artist. Amer, you are really, really mad that I just pronounced it Amer. Kenshi Yonezu, you're either a My Hero Academia normie, or you have watched the top 100 most viewed J-pop videos thing on YouTube and realized that this dude took up half of the goddamn list. Uverworld, you shit your pants whenever you found out that the full version of Odd Future was different than the My Hero Academia opening. Rail, you play a fuck ton of Osu. Konomi Suzuki, you really like isekais. The Peggies, you literally don't know any song of theirs besides Kimi no Se. The Oral Cigarettes, you have never actually seen Noragami. You just like listening to Cure and Hey Kids. Dauko, you've never actually watched Fireworks the movie. You just like listening to Fireworks the song. Vika Blanca, you think Black Clover is the next One Piece or the next Naruto. What you don't realize is that Vika Blanca single handedly carries the show, and without them, Black Clover never gets relevant. Minami, you watched Domestic Girlfriend and Minami was the only thing that made it worth your time. Radwimps. You think your name is better than any of the Miyazaki films. Mika Nakashima. You feel a deep sorrow when listening to her because Kiss of Death reminds you of how good Darling in the Franks could have been. Zunomayo, you've done it. You have ascended beyond just listening to anime music. You have attained true J-pop fan status. It's not about the anime. It's about the genuinely good music. That's what you tell yourself anyway. Maya Uchida. You are a devout member of the Church of Rika's Thighs. Dean Fujioka. You are a girl who is still in grade school, and you watch anime for the hot anime boys, the yaoi, or both. Claris. You just listen to Claris because you like the songs. You don't actually watch all of the shows that Clara's songs are used for. Fuck, oh shit. T turn that off! Right. <laughs> like I was saying. Oh my god, for. For fuck's sake! <laughs>